Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I am going to be playing around with fountain pen ink to create a firework effect on paper. So I'm going to be using a few different techniques, uh, mostly with a syringe. However, uh, the fountain pens and maybe Q-tips will come into play for this as well. I'm going to be doing this on several different types of paper. I have a Nebula notepad. This is Tomaway River 52 GSM white. Uh, this feels like the newer Tomaway River paper to me, to be honest. It has a little bit more of a tissue paper feel. So I'm not sure if it's new or old. It feels a little different to me, so I think it is newer, but it is Tomaway River paper. I have some copy paper. Uh, this is a 28 weight copy paper, so around 105 GSM. And I also have Crown Mill Pure Cotton writing paper pads. So I bought this a few years ago and just use it for when I have like a really fancy letter to write. It does have a watermark. It's a little thicker. I'll be using all three of these papers to play around with this uh, firework effect. So I'm just gonna lay everything out and get started. I have my Tomaway River paper, my Crown Mill paper, and the copy paper ready to go. So I figure using a syringe to make a bunch of fountain pen ink spatters was probably a good opportunity to try several different papers. I figure the more the merrier in this case and less will end up on the table. So I'm going to start off with a Noodler's ink. I'm going to use Rome Burning, which has been renamed. Uh, and if you can't tell, it's kind of a gold color. It has several things going for it, uh, depending on how you use it or how well mixed it is, how well you've shaken it together. It can look bright yellow, it can look purple. I have found that to be more like if you smear it, which is pretty cool. Uh, but it is supposed to be this really pretty gold color. So I'm going to start with this and just kind of lay a little bit of a background for some fireworks. I'm just going to pull some ink up into the syringe and then release almost all of it back without making a mess. Okay, there we go. That's most of it. So I'm going to pull the plunger back that's actually quite a bit of ink, but hopefully it won't be too, too much. I'm going to take the tip off. Oh wow, that was actually really cool. A little bit more uh, splattery than I was expecting, but very cool. And there's actually still a lot of ink left in the syringe at this point because we've got some up in the needle, we've got some here, and there's still some in the body. This will let me do a kind of spray paint effect. Actually, I'm gonna bring it over here. That's a good background for fireworks. Oh, we've got some splattered over here, see? More paper, the merrier. So we'll have some dark going on and then some lighter backgrounds. This is gonna be really fun. Go ahead and cap this ink before I forget. All right, I'm going to let this dry and then go to the next step. Uh, I'm going to add an actual color. I think I'm going to go with Ferris Wheel Press. This is the Ruby Royal Flush. If you can see all that shimmer on the bottom, it is quite intense. So I'm gonna shake this up really well. I think I'll add this to the Tomoe River paper and we'll see if I add it to the rest. I'm, I'm wanting to make them look a little different. We'll see. Okay. I feel like the shimmer inks, especially for fireworks, you can add at any point, but as a finisher or a background are probably the best, but I don't know, I'm gonna find out. I've used these like alone to do kind of a firework. Um, when I was just like goofing off, playing around, but I've never tried to layer them before. So this is gonna be fun. Oh, do I take the tip off? Do I not? Maybe I will. Ooh, that is so pretty. Right. 
pull back on that tip back on <laughs> dripping everywhere which is actually pretty fantastic I add a little bit in there keep pulling back on the plunger So this one's still drying a little bit. I'm going to move on to these two while that one still dries. And I think I'm going to add blue. So I've got the Tumbling Time Blue from Ferrisville Press. Also a ton of shimmer. This is from their Down the Rabbit Hole line for their Fairy Tales collection. And actually they just released a new one for this collection, which looks absolutely stunning. It's like a gray and pink really, really pretty. I'm going to use a syringe again. And I do have a technique that does not involve a syringe. I don't think it's as pretty. It's, it's a little more menacing looking, but I will get to that in a minute. All right, so I have a ton of ink. Let me shoot some back. That's still a lot, but let's go with it. I mean, that is, that, that's a lot. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna shoot some back because I'm like, that's too much. That's still a lot, but I'm gonna go with it. Okay, let's leave the tip on this time, see where we go. Well, that's pretty significant. That is a very, <laughs> well, it's, that's a really big firework, just all exploded in one place. Very cool though. Since I do have so much ink sitting there, I actually think I can do the thing I was going to do where you don't have to use a syringe, you just kind of pull up some ink and this might not be a wide enough tip to use. Let me go ahead and cap this ink real quick and set that aside. Let me see if I use, <laughs> I've got blue all over my fingers. Use the end of a Q-tip might be a little easier before it dries. Okay, so since the firework is going that way, Actually, we can, we can do this both ways, that's fine. I was gonna say kind of the gravitational pull. Now, if you're more artistic, this is going to look better, but essentially you can get kind of this firework pull. It's a crazy spider, people. That's what we're, we were going for. Yeah, I'm trying to save this, I'm not sure I can. I've actually never tried to do it on this large of a scale before. Oh boy, can this be revived? We'll find out. <laughs> this is quite, this is entertaining me at this point. We'll see. I have Diatrementis Amber Yellow Copper. This is a sample. not going to be a good enough clean, is it? <laughs> Use that. All right. I know this is like the biggest no-no in history to mix inks, but I'm going to do it. All right, will this be any better? This paper is like holding out so well, <laughs> considering what I am putting it through. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. All right, I'm going to play more with the Tumbling Time Blue. I wanna put some blue over here, I think. This is actually looking kind of interesting. Like this is extreme firework, but <laughs> a little bit different, a little bit interesting. Okay, shake this up. And honestly, mixing the, what's it see? Diatrementis Amber Yellow Copper 
with the tumbling time, blue was a really cool thing. Like St. Patrick's Day, would that not be so cool? All right, let's see, I've got plenty. Let's them out. Set that aside. I'll pull the plunger up just a little bit. Oh, that was actually a little bit more spotty than I wanted. That was more spotty than I wanted, too. Oh, there's a lot left in there. Mm. Come back. <laughs> okay, this is just a whole lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. This is just like... <laughs> this is an absolute blast. If you can't have fun squirting ink all over the place, can you really have fun doing anything? I'm actually going to pull the plunger way, way up and just see, see what happens. I've never done that before. <laughs> this poor firework over here. <laughs> okay, so pulling the plunger way, way up is not super effective. I'm going to leave the syringe alone for a second. And oh, oh my goodness. Can you see this? Like, that is so cool looking. Okay, mixing shimmer inks is fantastic. <laughs> that is so wicked looking. Um, I'm going to do the technique that I like to do. It's a little bit more of a severe firework, but I do this when I am really bored. This is what I do when I am bored and have nothing else to do. If I can... Goodness. This poor pen, what have you been through? been in my bag for a little bit and I haven't used it in probably two weeks. All right, if I can get the body off, it's just like not giving up. What did happen to you, little pin? I don't know what's going on with it, but okay, we're having a Caveco sport malfunction that I'm not understanding. That is stuck. forever had that happen before. Huh. Just so incredibly stuck. And I have no idea why. I don't know. Looks fine. Okay, so what I do when I am super bored and have nothing else to do, I will take open the pen up and shove some ink down until it drips. Get a couple of good drips. And I mean, technically I don't have to put the body back on. I'm kind of curious to see if it'll go back on. No, that does not, that does not feel right. Okay, I have to figure out what's going on with the Caveco, uh, but I'll drag the pen over the ink and I mean as much as you want till the effect that you want is there this is pretty pretty good firework in my opinion it's easy it's not messy really you can add more ink back over top later if you want you can flip the pen over get wider strokes drag it out But this is just really fun. I like doing this. But that's just a lot of fun. I do that when I'm bored. It's fun. Um, as far as this Caveco Sport goes, I have no, well, if I put it on the right way, no idea what's wrong with it. The threads, they have something in them. Okay, the threads do feel like gummy, but I have no idea what that would be for. Okay, so, um, I will post a video of me trying to fix this, cleaning it out and seeing if I can get it fixed because I just have no idea. Until then, I mean, this is not gonna stay on. I'm going to set it aside and deal with that later. All right, this is actually looking pretty wicked cool. This is still taking a while to dry. I mean, that's a lot of ink, 
but that pink is so cool. Got like this crazy highlight, a lot of different colors happening. I think I'm going to add some Roaring Patina Black, which is now covered in every ink I've used so far. Everything is like covered in ink. I put some towels down, but just know that if you do this, it you you will get ink everywhere. So it's actually a really good idea to do it in a box or put up some kind of boundary for the ink to go. But yeah, I'll have to clean all this stuff off when I'm done. But the Ferris Wheel Press Roaring Patina Black, one of, this is the shimmer ink that got me to love shimmer inks. It was a black ink and I was, I just wanted to try it. I love black inks. So for this, I'm actually thinking about dripping it on top. This is a really, really cool ink. A lot of gold shimmer to this one. This is actually so cool. I love seeing all of the different things. The layering, I wasn't expecting to enjoy this much, but it really is quite fun. I really do love this technique too, so I think I'm gonna go back to that. Let's see, I have my Sailor Black Hole Pen from, well, Sailor Pen. It's their Pro Gear. I call this my Captain Kirk pen. I absolutely love it. This is a Zoom Nib. And this has the Roaring Patina Black. So I'm just going to, let's see, let's pick one of these. I'm gonna drip this. And you can kind of come back over, like if the drips are too defined, drop some ink back over it later so it looks less defined. This I'm loving. So it might just be the most simplistic technique might show up the best. I really do like that though. That's really cool. Oh my goodness, just all the shimmer. <laughs> I'm not a glitter ink person, but I tell you, it is fun for other things, especially mixing the colors. Like I had no idea that would be so much fun, but it is. Moving on to this one, I'm actually just going to shift this to the center and flip this over because fireworks, even though they do burst up, uh, generally gravity is pulling them down. So I'm going to play with this from this angle. And if you can see all of the crazy sheening going on here, it's just absolutely fantastic. All right, so to make this look like a falling firework, I think I'm going to go back with the Roaring Patina Black, I think, and spray some more on there because <laughs> I just can't get enough of this. Actually, well, let's try a counter angle and see how it works. Just going to grab a Q-tip and shove some of this around. I will keep playing with this because honestly, I don't want to stop. It's just that much fun to, to play around with these inks. I have Liberty's Elysium. I think I'm just going to smear some of this on just to see what it does. Got a Q-tip. 
I don't know if it's going to highlight enough or not. Everything is still pretty wet. Hmm. Am I being ridiculous at this point? Probably. However, these these are all fun techniques if you know the look you're going for, if you know what you want it to look like in the end, or if now you know what not to do. I do have my regatta pen with that USS Texas teal ink in it, and I'm just kind of wondering if it would match whatever this color became after I mixed those couple of inks. Okay, so these colors are getting so crazy wicked. That tumbling time blue showing up against some of these other colors just looks so intense. All right, so I'm just going to tear this off and leave it to dry. Oh, that really went through. Well, it was quite a bit of uh, liquid on top of that. So I will just play around a little bit because why not? Noodler's Dragon's Napalm. I'm going to add that.
this was an incredibly fun and relaxing process uh, to use these beautiful shimmer inks and just get to lay them down and see what they look like, especially when mixed. Absolute fun. Uh, I originally intended for the Ferris wheel press inks to be for my space journal when they I had tried the Roaring Patina Black, absolutely loved it. And they released the Down the Rabbit Hole line, which most of these colors are that. Uh, I was thinking, oh, these will be perfect for my space journal. Like how much fun to get some of these colors together. And honestly, they are just dazzling especially that tumbling time blue the variation you can get in that one just incredible so much fun so i'm gonna have a blast with these i think they are absolutely perfect for my space journal but anyway thank you so much for watching